Hello everyone, welcome again. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss about iTest result interface. So consider a scenario where during the runtime, you want to get the status of test method. And based on that status, you want to perform further action. So with the help of iTest result interface, you can fetch the status of a method during the runtime. So let me add one more class in my test case folder. Let me call it as test listener. Now this class will extend the assert class. So I can use the method which is present inside the assert class. Inside this class I will create two public method. Public void test case fail. and add the read test annotation and I'm going to fail this method explicitly with the help of assert.fail one more method public void test case pass and here I will do a assertion for true condition Now what I want to do is I want to get the status of both this method during runtime. So for this I am going to take the help of iTest result interface. Using this interface you can fetch the method status and other information about test method. So as you can see that we have static int which represent the status of method. Then we have certain get getter method which will give more information about test method. So I will create one more method public void get status and here I am going to pass the reference of I test result interface. And as we know that I want to execute this method after the end of every test method so that's why I will use the annotation after method now using this reference I'm going to get the status and information about this two test method so sys out and let me get the status so method status and that can be get through result dot get status and also the method name so method name so this can be get through result dot get method dot get method name now during the run time as soon as this method finishes its execution automatically this method will call and we will get the corresponding status now how the reference is going uh, through i test result interface is internal to the test ng so let me run this script run a test ng test so if I look at the console we have two test method and we were expecting one failure so as you can see that method status for method name test case fail is 2 and method status for test case pass is 1 so this information is coming through I test result interface So if you look at the API documentation, I can get other information such as test class, text context, is success, we'll check for whether the method is passed or failed. So let me show you how you can put a check based on the status. So here I will put a if condition 
and inside the if condition I will use result dot get status and we have some static constant so I test result dot success so it is going to print the method status and method name and along with that I will append success and there will be a one more if check if result dot get status equal to equal to i test result dot failure so same sop but appended with failed Failed. Now let me run this. So if you look at the console, we have two tests run, one failure. So as you can see that, so for one method, our our uh, failed block failed check for if got executed, and for one method the if block for success got check executed so using this kind of filter you can perform the action based on the current status of the method so this will will be helpful suppose you want to update your excel sheet with pass and fail status depending upon the status of the method so at that time you can use this interface to get the status and you can update the excel sheet accordingly so there are other methods also so depend upon your requirement you can use those method so that's all for this video and thanks for watching